Hi, this is Chris from Aegean Hot Tubs, and I'm making a video on how you convert an MX BP1 pack from 220 volts to 110 volts. Uh, on this video, it's gonna explain some of the important steps that you have to make. So your first step you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the cover. And that's gonna be simple with a normal Phillips head screwdriver, you remove your screws and this lid comes off. Some important notes for you is a lot of the details about this is on the back of this cover. So as you're doing this change, you wanna review this back panel ahead of time. A lot of the critical steps on the 120 conversion to 120 is along this area here. I'm gonna go over those steps with you, uh, but that is important to follow those along the way. One of the first things you do when you convert a tub from 220 to 110, you have what they call the dip switches, which are these banks off to the right-hand side of the circuit board. They don't show really well, but those are in different positions. The only one that's in the on position is this second spot right here. All the other ones are in the off. The first step is you need to change that very first one there, or the second one. Right now it's in the high amp mode. I just changed it to the low amp mode. Uh, but when you're on 110, spot two and three must be off. So going the, the two to the off spot, that changes it from the high amp mode to the low amp mode on the hot tub. The next thing you need to do is the J31 jumper uh, needs to go on just one peg. In the J31 spot, there's your dip switches up to the right. It's a jumper. That piece there, tough of my hands in here, but this piece simply slides off. And try to let you see it here, small piece. Now you have just two pins. When installed, that is gonna go on just one of those pins and one of those pins will be exposed. Very, very important step to how the heater works. The next step is your area over here. Um, as you look at the circuit board, you have your heater terminals they go in, you have a relay of a little blue piece, you have a fuse, and then you have this jumper. Currently on 220, there's four pins in a row. That jumper right now is currently on only the center two. You need to remove that jumper and be gentle with that. I'm using a pair of very gentle needleless pliers, but this is where almost all customers struggle. With this pack, it is installed, and it is installed like you see here vertically. On the back of the pack, I'm gonna spin this pack around. Obviously, this is me installing your tub. There's not gonna be a lot of room. On the back of your pack, there is an area in here, a plastic area. That plastic area is not easy to get to when this is installed, but you're gonna need to remove another fuse that comes out. And also you're gonna need to remove this other little jumper piece right here that slides out of here. Now I cut the top of this, this likely will not be cut when it comes to you. Now that I have that cut and out of there, what your next step is going to be is you have those four pins. Now with those four pins, you need to put these jumper pieces on the two different sides. and likely may need to use a little needle on those pliers, but I'm gonna to try to do this and try to let you see what I'm doing here. So I got the one on, I still have two pins on the bottom side now. The next step is I have to put those two pins on the other side also. So when you're going to the 110, ultimately you have two sets of pins there. They're both covered by those white caps. That's a critical step to go to 110. Next step is you need to remove this one fuse. And the fuse is right in the center area. You're gonna pull that out. Have the other fuse from the back of the pack, which is the other size fuse uh, that you're gonna be installing in there. Um, you go to a 0.16 amp fuse versus the 0.1, and that's gonna slide back in spot in here and lock right into shape. Make sure it is locked in place there. Uh, so done multiple things now, change the fuse. The next thing is gonna be an area that is not always gonna be. So if you didn't buy an American Whirlpool or Vita hot tub, you really should reach out to your spa professional who you bought the hot tub from. But these top spots are where a lot of your components plug in. This is the spot where your pump plugs in. If your tub would have a circ pump, it could go there. If your tub has an ozone, it could go there. 
If your tub has an audio visual uh, sound system, it would plug in there. But the pump is the critical one, that very first spot. You have this jumper wire that comes out. Uh, it's called jumper, I believe that one there uh, is J46. Uh, it has to go down to bank three. There's a bank one, a bank two, and a bank three. This one has to go to bank three, so the pump gets 110 volts. These are your 110 volt outputs on that spot. If you have a sound system, that may possibly also need to change, but make sure your pump is there. A lot of times in the factory, when you're at 220, this wire may be in a different spot. For 110, you gotta go down to the bank three of those relay spot connectors down there. Other thing that's really important to remember is when the hot tub comes uh, with 220 electric and it's listed up in the very top, 220, 110, the 220, the white spot, the black spot, the red spot. When you shift to 110, the black goes there, the white goes there, and then your ground will still shift over there. So you do need to move from 220 to 110. The white will have to move down to this bottom spot Red is obviously eliminated going in that spot there. Those are a lot of the big ways of how we change this hot tub from 220 to 110 volts. Uh, obviously to help support us, we, we ask you to please like and subscribe to our video. Uh, please support stuff for buying stuff from aegean.com forward slash chemicals. We sell at ease items, nature two cartridges, all on that website, our prices are lower in cost than Amazon is, so we'd really appreciate doing that. We also have GFCI cords available off of our website. If you want to convert this pack back to 220, we're going to reverse all these steps. Again, we're going to move the white wire up into this terminal. We're going to reinstall the red wire in that spot. May potentially have to move this jumper wire back. The next steps that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change these fuses back. So 110 volt fuse right here, pulling that out. I'm gonna re-put in the 220 volt fuse into this spot. Next, we got the little cable jumpers over here, the white little jumpers. I'm gonna remove both of those. And we're gonna reinstall just one of them over those two center spots here. We're gonna go back to our dip switches and our jumper wire, and we're gonna change that dip switch from the off spot to the on. So now you'll see just the number two spot is on, and then we're gonna go over to this heater and the J31, and you move this from just one peg and now it is on both pegs for 220. So switch back the fuse into the correct proper spot, moved the jumper into the middle spot there. We changed our dip switch. We also changed our relay. We may potentially have to move this one relay. We also updated our wiring into here. Again, thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe our video also. Uh, get any questions, you can go to Aegean.com and then all of our chemicals and also uh, GFCI cords will be located on Aegean.com forward slash chemicals. Thanks a lot for watching the video.